morning inside of Queen's Park. That's where you just saw Premier Doug Ford and Ontario Education Minister Stephen Lecce in a news conference. Let's listen. We extended an olive branch to QP. We said we'll repeal our legislation, including notwithstanding clause, if they agreed to end their strikes. I'm so relieved that QP accepted our offer, that they showed the same willingness to compromise. Because today, kids are back in class, exactly where they belong. I want to say a special thank you to QP Canada, Unifor, and our private sector union partners who helped get us back to the table. And we intend to keep our end of the bargain. On Monday, we'll be introducing legislation to repeal Bill 28 in its entirety. With the cooperation of the opposition, we expect to get it passed quickly. Now, both sides need to bring the same spirit of cooperation to negotiations. I've heard QP say we need to invest more in lower income workers. I couldn't agree more. So today, we're back at the table. And while I can't get into details, we're back at the table with an improved offer particularly for the lower income workers. Just as we're listening to QP, we also need QP to listen to us. As Premier, I always need to consider the bigger picture. I always need to consider how decisions impact the entire province. Our agreement with QP, it will have massive impacts on broader public service salaries especially as we continue negotiating with teachers. These impacts, they could cost tens of billions of dollars. That's money we need for schools, health care, transit and infrastructure. It's money we need for vital services that every hardworking people of this province rely on. That's why it's so important that QP understands where we're coming from. We want a deal that's fair for students, fair for parents, fair for taxpayers, and fair for workers, particularly lower income workers. We know we can get there. We know we will get there. Thank you, and God bless the people of Ontario. Now I'd be happy to take questions. We're going to take questions from the floor, one question and one follow up. Hi, Premier. Hi. Uh, 24 hours ago, you were talking about the offer that you'd already made to CUPE being really generous, you know, historic um, wage increase over, over the last 10 years. What's different now, uh, 24 hours later, that you're willing to, to move and improve upon what you've, in your words, improve on what you've offered? You know, it comes down to the art of negotiations on both sides. We have to sit down there, uh, give a little on both sides uh, for the betterment of, of the students, of the parents, and, and the uh, low-income workers and you know that's the way negotiations go sometimes not everyone's going to agree but hopefully we can come uh, together and have a, a good compromise that respects uh, all parties at hand are you willing to move on the higher paid category are you sticking to i know we you were asked yesterday about people earning less than forty-three thousand. is that just where the improvement is well I, i'm sorry i can't talk about the details uh, where we're at, but I, I'd love to send it over to Minister Lecce. And I, I just got to tell you folks about Minister Lecce. He works around the clock. Uh, many conversations between him and I, I think the other one went till quarter to one in the morning over the weekend. Uh, he's done a, a stellar job. I'm proud to say he's the Minister of Education. And I told him through these tough times, uh, you know, keep your head up high. And he has. Uh, he's a brilliant minister, and uh, Minister Lecce has a, a bright future. I'll pass it over, Minister. Yeah, thank you. I think the, what we're trying to do today is demonstrate to the people of Ontario that we are listening to parents by ensuring their kids are in school. That is the bottom line, and the Premier set out a priority in the summer. Normal, stable, enjoyable schools. Disruptions causes a great deal of impacts on a million parents, on two million kids, and we know these kids need to be in school. And so we were coming to the table today with the spirit of getting a deal, a voluntary agreement, a deal we always wanted to achieve on a voluntary basis that protects the in-person learning experience, 
uh, but also, as the Premier noted, increases those wages to the lowest paid workers within our schools. You know, not those on the higher end making north of 100000 like, for example, those on the, the teacher side. But we're talking about the lowest paid. We have always believed we need to give them more. We started with that premise, and we'll continue to make that case at the negotiating table. And I just hope we can both come to the table with a commitment to keep the kids in school uh, so that we could all live with this deal and ultimately parents could have some stability in their lives. Thank you. Good morning, Premier. Liam Casey with the Good morning. Canadian Press. Um, with unions like Laguna coming out against Bill 28, uh, does that irreparably damage the worker-friendly relationship your government has been uh, working hard for? Not, not at all. I have an incredible relationship with Joe Mancinelli, uh, the whole Laguna team. Uh, there's going to be things that we may disagree on. Like I said yesterday, you know, we'll, we'll agree on, I think I said 95, we'll probably agree on 98% of, of the items that we put forward. They've been a great partner. On, uh, with the trades and, and, and trade centers that we can start training. They're going to be a great partner in, in building 1.5 million homes over the next 10 years. And uh, we appreciate the relationship. I, I talk to Joe frequently, and uh, we have a good understanding where we both stand. And I appreciate his support. I appreciate all the private sector's uh, support. And as I said earlier on, I want to give a shout out to uh, QP Canada and uh, Unifor that uh, are very pragmatic. Uh, they understand the situation we're in. They understand their, their, uh, where QP uh, local is uh, going as well. So, you know, folks, I, I just, I'm, I don't want to fight. I just want the kids in school. Um, that, that's what I want to do. You know, I'm, I'm past the stage of, of fighting and, and it's not worth it. People don't want it. Parents don't want it. Students don't want it for sure. And I'll tell you, the other people that were affected were the employers. When, when you have a million kids, uh, you know, staying at home, and they don't want it. I, I talked to a grandfather, and I think I said that yesterday, and he said, "Doug, I love my grandchildren, but I just had four of them dumped off at, at my home, and I'm babysitting all day. So, uh, do whatever you can." So, I just want to thank everyone. Let's let's work together and move forward. That's that's all I'm asking. And that is Premier Doug Ford speaking live at the Ontario Legislature this morning. This news conference about the ongoing negotiations now with QP education workers, 55,000 of them walking off the job last week. It was just 24 hours ago that the Premier said that they would repeal Bill 28, which is anti-strike legislation, as long as those workers return to the job. Schools are back open today here in Ontario. He does say that they will be back at the bargaining table today with an improved offer, particularly for lower income workers. He says that he wants QP to understand where the province is coming from and that they have to be careful in terms of giving these increases because it will affect, of course, uh, broadly the other workers in public sector services here in Ontario. We'll be following this, of course, all day long on citynews.ca. Those negotiations are expected to start in less than 20 minutes' time. We're heading to break here on Breakfast Television. More BT when we come back. Stay with us.